Love, Sister Agnes Asogwa of Akita. Sister Agnes Asogwa has just given us the message about what she saw in hell and warned us about the future of Pope Francis. Therefore, it's urgent to share this message with you right now to ensure that as many people as possible see this video. Kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. Good day, our beloved brothers and sisters. Wishing you a delightful start to the day and heavenly power all through it. Each morning begins with Jesus Christ's holy grace and benevolence. God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe, please type Amen. And our brothers and sisters, please watch till the end of this video because that will motivate us to make the other videos. It is so important for us to pray first before coming to the main part of this video. O Lord our God, you alone are the most holy King and ruler of all nations. We pray to you, Lord, in the great expectation of receiving from you, O Divine King, mercy, peace, justice, and all good things. Protect, O Lord, our King, our families, and the land of our birth, guard us, we pray, most faithful one. Protect us from our enemies and from your just judgment. Forgive us, O Sovereign King. Our sins against you, Jesus, you are a King of mercy. We have deserved your just judgment. Have mercy on us, Lord, and forgive us. We trust in your great mercy, almost or inspiring King. We bow before you and pray. May your reign your kingdom be recognized on earth. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will all that I have and cherish you have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these. Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. Amen. Sister Agnes Asagawa of Akita has given the message to a nun about what she saw in hell. She said that she saw to popes in hell and she gave us the future of Pope Francis. Our brothers and sisters, the Pope is the Bishop of Rome, the leader of the Catholic Church and the spiritual head of over one billion Catholics worldwide. The Pope is considered the successor of St. Peter, who was one of the apostles of Jesus Christ According to Catholic belief, Jesus gave Peter the keys to the kingdom of heaven and established him as the first leader. Of the early Christian community, the Pope serves as the Vicar of Christ on earth. Representing Jesus and his teachings, he's responsible for providing guidance, leadership, and pastoral care to the Catholic Church and its members. The Pope's authority extends over matters of faith, doctrine, and moral teachings, he also oversees the administration and governance of the church, including the appointment of bishops, the canonization of saints, and the interpretation of church laws. So, whether or not there is any pope in hell, the answer will be revealed through the message of Sister Agnes Sogwa. Sister Agnes Sasagawa saw five popes in hell. The first is Pope Anastasius II, who was the Pope from the years 496 to 498. This late Pope is in Canto 11, and he is in the sixth circle of hell for a heresy. The early church had a problem with occasionism, but Pope Anastasius II was tolerant of it. The second Pope who is in hell is Pope Nicholas III. He was Pope from 1277 to 1280, and he was in hell because he was guilty of favoring the Gulf faction in Italy. The second pope who is in hell is Pope Nicholas III. He was pope from 1277 to 1280, and he was in hell because he was guilty of favoring the Gulf faction in Italy. Those are two popes in hell, and Sister Agnes Sasagawa also warned us about the future of Pope Francis. Recently, Pope Francis has got a fever which is a sign that the Pope is in danger. 
The last phrase on the list attributed to Pope Francis is Peter the Roman, which some interpret as a reference to the final pope before the end of the world. Pope Francis is weakening because Satan is trying to control this pope. Satan wants to bring Pope Francis to hell because he is like his predecessors and affirms the belief in the existence of the devil and the ongoing spiritual battle against evil. The Catholic Church teaches that the devil, also known as Satan, is a fallen angel who actively seeks to lead humanity away from God and into sin. Pope Francis, like his predecessors, affirms the belief in the existence of the devil and the ongoing spiritual battle against evil. Sister Agnes Sagawa said that Pope Francis is a good leader. He will be greatly blessed by God and will go to heaven. God will protect this Pope from evil and he will overcome any obstacles he meets. The Bible also teaches us about heaven and hell. For example, Matthew 25 minutes and 46 seconds, then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. It is a verse that emphasizes the eternal consequences of our choices and actions. Jesus speaks these words as part of his teaching on the final judgment, where he separates the righteous from the unrighteous. Our brothers and sisters, if we have faith and strongly believe in God, we will be in heaven and stay away from the devil. It is important to emphasize the eternal consequences of our choices and actions. Jesus speaks these words as part of his teaching on the final judgment, where God separates the righteous from the unrighteous. Those who do not have faith in Jesus Christ, who do not accept him as their Lord and Savior, will face the possibility of eternal separation from God in hell. Therefore, our brothers and sisters, let's join us and say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. I receive your forgiveness and ask you to take your rightful place in my life as my Saviour and Lord. Come, reign in my heart, fill me with your love and your life, and help me become a truly loving person like you. Restore me, Jesus, live in me, love through me. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video, our brothers and sisters. Without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God, to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen. Thank you.